You know, Senator, as a Christian, I think it is very interesting that you don't seem to understand what Christ was about. He was about accepting people and giving love, not about carrying a Bible in one hand and hatred in the other. Now, all of the gay myths have been shattered. Not in my mind, they haven't. That's it. In your mind, they haven't. And I am wondering why. Mr. Milton, we don't allow people who believe in practicing bestiality to teach our children. And the reason we don't is because it is illegal. But it is not illegal to be a homosexual in the state of California. But your law goes even further. Any school employee who even is so much as supports a gay person will be fired. True. But gay people don't have children of their own. If they don't recruit our children, they'll all die away. That's why they want to become teachers, is to encourage our children to join them. So, how do you teach homosexuality, huh? Like French? <laughs> I was born of heterosexual parents. I was taught by heterosexual teachers in a fiercely heterosexual society. So why am I homosexual, huh? And you know, not to offend anyone here, but if it were true that our children mimic teachers, we'd have a hell of a lot more nuns running around. <laughs> If they want to lead such an open line of homosexuality, that they want a 21-gun salute every time somebody comes near them, those people are going to be in danger of being removed from their job. But if in your statements here, you say that child molestation is not an issue, then why do you continuously put out literature that hammers it home? Why do you play on the myth and on those fears? Same thing with VD, Harvey. You put out publications about VD so people can avoid it. But you've already said that there's more child molestation in the heterosexual group. So why not just get rid of the heterosexual teachers? We're not talking about homosexual. <laughs> We're not talking about child molestation. The fact is about 95% of the people are heterosexual. If we take out the heterosexual group and the homosexual group, we'd have no teachers. Hmm. We'd have no teachers. And no child molestation? So let me just get this right. Are you saying that the percentage of the population is equal to the percentage of child molestation? Okay, uh, Calvin, go back, do that again, but play that more to the audience. Okay. Yeah, you know, have a, uh, try to really get us to uh, support you even more. Because okay. I think, and also by this time, I, I think that you need to feel like you're, you're, you're getting, you're winning this. Okay. Because you are. Okay. All right, so, so play to us a little bit more. So we'd have no more teachers, huh? No more child molestation? So let's get this right. Are you saying that the percentage of the population is equal to the percentage of child molestation? I, I'm not saying that at all. Well, Senator, that's what you just said. I'm saying we cannot prevent child molestation. So let's cut our odds down. And to do that, we will take out the homosexual group and we will keep in the heterosexual group. Senator, in your own drive for personal power, how many careers are you willing to see destroyed? How many lives will you destroy in your own lust for personal power? And when will you stop? 